Capricorn. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpio Red Zero, and I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, for the new year. Happy New Year, you guys. Happy 2021, my dear. Alright, so we're in here to find out what's going on for January 2021 for my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. Shout out to all my OG, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of you guys who have clicked, like, shared, and subscribed to this video to any one of my videos in the past present and shout out to all my babies that's coming through in the future amen amen all right so um again thank you guys for all the love and support um if you guys would like to book a personal and private reading always feel free to do so by um clicking the about tab in this video i'm sorry the about tab on my youtube page or check out the district the description box on this video i'm all tongue-tied excuse me you guys all right so um again check the description box of this video or check the about tab on my youtube page which gives the pricing and how to connect with me on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com okay so as you guys know as i always do we always give thanks to the creator to father god to the universe whatever it is that you call him uh before we you know ask for any advice so if you wouldn't mind bowing your head with me all right you know I'm, I, I don't know for whatever reason I'm feeling I am definitely feeling some Palo Santo right now I just love the smell of Palo Santo so like I don't know it's hitting me the desire to want to burn some Palo Santo so anyway so Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Capricorn. You already know what's going on with us, Father God. So we're trying to keep ourselves just like blessed and just on the highly favored list, Father God. We are not trying to be on the naughty list this year at all for no <laughs> for no reason, Father God. We are staying focused. We're moving forward, Father God. We got the fire lit in us. We've been doing a lot of cleansing and cleaning. And we've just been setting up ourselves for, you know winning you know we're just definitely setting ourselves up for winning this season father god so we defeated a lot of old demons from you know our pastime last year and we're just moving forward now that we got a lot of that bull crap out of the way father god we're focused on our purpose our purpose is now realized father god so we just thank you for just moving forward and just being able to face a new year with you know a lot of victory in our chest father god amen so please give us the guidance that we need today and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. All right. Let's do this. All right. So let's find out what's going on for my Capricorn. All right. All right. Father God, thank you so much. Please give us the guidance for my Capricorns. For January 2020. Thank you so much. What is this? We got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Oh, Lord. We ain't got no time for nobody to be crying about nothing. Be feeling unsure about this. So what is that? I'm going to go put her back because I don't even know. I don't know. I wasn't feeling her for right now. But, you know, you know right now, I already know God going to get me later for doing that. Because, you know, I shouldn't have did that. But whatever. We're going to see if she come back out. Hopefully not. So, Father God, give me three cards for my Capricorns. Chuh! <laughs> the three of swords. So listen, I might as well kept on out there. Listen, Father God said, listen, when I tell you to leave some shit alone, I'm telling you for a reason. Alright? Who the hell done broke your heart? What is going on, Capricorn? And y'all know the Queen of Cups is someone that is like disgruntled. Who feels emotionally abused, uh, manipulated, like... Searching deep in the inside for what her truth beliefs is. Like she needs to like readjust her standards. Like the Queen of Cups in reverse is someone who would lower their self. Who really doesn't know who they're who they truly are on the inside. Like they will do anything to fix and appease the situation to make it better for other people more than for themselves. Like that's someone to me that really doesn't know themselves that is so wrapped up and tied into what other people think about them. Someone else can tell this person that they're ugly and they believe it. You know, someone else can place insecurity in them. Someone else can place grief in them where 
they shouldn't have that power. So, like, that's why I don't really like the Queen of Cups in the reverse. This is the Ace of Swords. And then the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse came out. So, the Queen of Pentacles is like... Tch! Um... Depending on what's going on with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This Queen of Pentacles right here, it looks like she's like facing some type of reality, like some type of message. Uh, I want to say like a messenger or some information came. I want to say some information about someone's infidelity, someone's cheating, about a third party situation. Someone sharing their love somewhere else might have come from a like a not traditional source or something like that it's like a pet could have pulled a phone number out of someone's pocket or an animal might have found something or um might have led you to something or um it's it, like i don't know why i'm seeing like a dog or something sniffing in a certain area in the house or through some clothes and it's like you find somebody else's panties because it's like the animal smells somebody else's scent or something like it's like somehow you end up falling into some type of information the queen of pentacles is somebody that is traditionally about family she's not a loner she's really really about family she's about stability she's about wealth she's about health so in the reverse like this is someone that can might be experiencing some type of stress or um sickness like due to finding out something that is like giving them some type of emotional uh uh just like some type of emotional discomfort like some type of emotional discomfort is bringing someone some type of sickness and like it's not bringing a, a, a positive or passionate attributes in the house so it's like it could be sickness or illness in the house due to stress due to instability due for wanting due for, to needing like to me the queen of pentacles in reverse is someone that needs something in the upright she's not a needy individual so in the Especially that's that's also the Queen of Cups in the reverse, like a very needy, clingy individual, like is literally clinging to your ankles, like don't want not wanting you to leave the leave the house. Like the um Queen of Pentacles is typically I'm not gonna necessarily say is a homebody because the Queen of Pentacles could be a go getter, like someone that's very driven someone that wants to, you know, start new empires and, you know, create new things or she might not be in the house but she may be outside in her garden but she's not too far from home type of thing like that um the queen of pentacles in the reverse is like someone that would do anything for money or someone that would do anything for attention and someone that would do anything just to create something with the wrong type of people or to the be or to be a part of the wrong type of organization or something it's like you just need it. You just feel the need to be needed, to be talked to, to feel like, you know, it's, 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 that, that's not a good depiction of any type of woman. Do you understand? Is it like someone in a place of lack? You know what I'm saying? Like, because someone could be a far place from home. It's like the Queen of Pentacles is typically in the home, cooking, taking care of the animals. Take it, it's like you, you may not be taking care of your animals. Like your pets may be like neglected or something like that you may be neglecting your children or something because some type of truth come came out about um someone disrespecting you someone not loving you in a way in a fashion that you feel like they should or something so you may not be taking care of home suffering from some type of heartbreak or some type of truth that was just exposed to you and it could have come to you in a very unorthodox way but it's like someone feeling stabbed in the heart and not focusing on their foundations is kind of what i'm getting here but it's like now at least you know the damn truth though i mean shit at least you know the damn truth um And again, like with this, with this right here, it's like your knowledge is what you're standing on. Like you're standing on truth. You're standing on knowledge. You're standing on what you saw. You're standing on what you believe. It's like this person can't tell you nothing, no otherwise anymore. It's like you can't be manipulated or whatever. But I still feel like this, this desire and this need for family and for connection. It's like, you know, it's like someone feels misplaced in your life or something is misplaced something isn't there that should be in the home and it's like you still 
crave this you still want this and it's like almost a need that where you would kind of do anything for it almost this is the six of diamonds so the six of diamonds is where someone has cut someone off someone is not talking to someone it's like silence like you're going through the silent treatments so someone's moving on moving away they don't want to speak you know best is left spoken to it's like that's you know that's basically what i'm getting there um it's like death silence it's like almost like an eerie feeling of silence. It's like, especially on top of this three of this three of uh, swords. It's like, it's weird because someone has been very silent. It's like they must be speaking to someone else. They must be doing something. They must be creeping away. It's like, why haven't I spoken to this person? It's like it's stabbing you in your heart. It's like some type of abuse or something. Or you feel it's abusive because it's like I'm used to speaking to this person. I don't typically know this person to do that. What is this? The Nine of Diamonds. The Nine of Diamonds is self-gratification. It's like you have your own sense of belonging. You have your own sense of understanding. It's like... Um, it's the, I want to say like... This Nine of Diamonds to me represents some type of travel. It represents travel. It's like... Um, and again, the Six of Diamonds is, to me, like someone cutting someone off, not speaking to someone, moving on. Um, I want to say, like, kind of getting, like, um, a jolt of energy to, like, put the pedal to the metal. Like, I, that's, that's what I'm getting. It's like, it's like someone moving on for self-preservation, for betterment, like... I'm tired of, like, being misused or whatever. It's like, I, I, I kind of float and fluctuate a lot better when I'm focused on my own energy and by myself. Like, I see more tangible results. I see um, more fame, more more notoriety. It's like people look up to me and I get the right type of response when... Because I feel like you're a very admirable person. Like, you have a lot of spunk, a lot of tenacity, a lot of uh, good energy behind you. But it's something about when you get distracted around other people, get wrapped up in love. It's like you chase the wrong type of love or some shit like that. And it's like some type of acknowledgement here because there's no balance in the home. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm tired of this needy feeling like I'm missing a husband. I'm missing commitment. I'm missing my kids. Like it's like I'm, you're missing something. Um, you're missing something that if you would have normally had it there in a healthy way, everything would be functioning correctly. But shit's not functioning correctly in your home. And it's like, you know the truth now. You know exactly what it is. You know what be throwing you off. You know the truth about yourself. When I'm around this type of person or when I put myself in this situation or when I'm chasing this, shit just goes haywire for me. And... I don't, I don't like looking like this. I don't like feeling like this. You know, like sometimes I could be my own worst enemy because I'd be falling off of track. And it's like I just want to walk away from this because it takes me away from my natural energy. It's like it throws your fucking energy off. And it's like I'm traditionally a very successful and well-balanced individual i'm the queen of pentacles you know what i'm saying it's this heartbreak shit it's like putting your 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 trust in to other people instead of like trusting yourself you know what i'm saying like trust yourself when something don't feel right walk the fuck away you don't have to talk to people you don't have to engage like when you realize the truth like just you feeling any type of emotional insecurity on bottom line is enough for you to be able to walk away it should be enough listen the ace of diamonds this is also like truth communication this is like your spirituality your intelligence like you know honor respect like true acknowledgement like you know uh again it's like i'm, I'm gonna get like a wave of communication a wave of like ingenuity it's like you have a free mind, like your mind is free to think, free to believe, free to like let all the passions and let all of the ideas, you know, just like flow in. It's like 
free to communicate the way that you believe that you should be, the way that you are. It's like, um, I want to say it's like a lot of freedom, a lot of clarity, a lot of wisdom. It's like, I, it's like I don't, I don't know if you see yourself or you see the situation for what it is. You see your star energy, you see your star power. You're trying to open up the door of coming. Because you see like how this bird has opened up this window. It's like, you see how I had to burn the um, Palo Santo. It's like burn burn some sage, burn some Palo Santo, burn something to like free up some energy and open up the door so that the lines of communication could come in. It's like free, new, gifted, spiritual communication. Not some shit dressed in bullshit. Not some shit dressed in bullshit. And then you got the Ace of Hearts. So you got the Ace. Okay. So, to me, this is like the Ace of Hearts. This is new beginnings. This has something to do with your home environment. Your heart represents the home. It's not necessarily just in love. But it's just your home environment in general. It feels like your home environment is definitely changing. Um, There may be some new communication. Or it may just be a different... I want to say like a standard of living. A standard of life. Like... Because it, like if you knew better, you do better. So it's like you're cleaning up more. Like you're opening up the windows. More natural light. It's more natural light. So it's like more natural clarity. It's not like forced clarity by you having to go through karmatic trials and tribulations in order for you to learn something, to understand something, to see some tangible growth. It's like no natural lighting. It's like I naturally see the shit. You don't have to force me to go through the bottom of the barrel in order for me to see that I don't need to hang around crabs. Do you understand? Like it for you to get pushed all the way to the bottom of the barrel. When you're in a crabs in the barrel situation, you can't see your way out of it. It's like for you to finally pull yourself after all of them other crabs try to climb over top of you and pull you down so that you could get ahead. You finally got the fuck up out of that barrel, baby. You ain't looking back. You don't go nowhere near no barrel. You manifest yourself to be something else. Like, I ain't no goddamn crab. I'm a goddamn beast. Okay, I'm got <laughs> I'm goddamn Capricorn. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm a different breed. I'm in a different light. There's a lot of diamonds, you guys. So I want to say, like, you guys, there's, like, a lot of communication. There's a lot of spiritual downloads. Like, you guys are getting a lot of information um, that is going to meet you very well. It's going to... It's going to it's going to take you a long way. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Definitely it's going to take you a long way. So, let's see. First, we had the Six of Diamonds. The Six of Diamonds represent being quiet, timid. It says shyness, lack of communication, jealousy, possessiveness, psychology, social services, science. Technology, computer, information system, diagnostic equipment, an energy surge, vitality, power, electrical shock, horsepower, kinetic energy, nervous energy, adrenaline. So remember when I was saying like things are quiet, things have shut down, like someone felt some type of surge to get going, to get moving. Like I said, power, electrical shock, horsepower, you know, so it's like... I don't want to talk to you no more. Um, and again, like that word of possessiveness is very strong. Um, it's like someone trying to hold on to something that doesn't belong to you. Like Future says, that shit belongs to the streets. That nigga belongs to the streets. That girl belongs to the streets. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it will never be just you. It will always be you and somebody else. You playing this cat and mouse game. And guess what? I'm good on it. I'm good on it. You know what I'm saying? So let me just stop communicating with you. Lack of communication. Jealousy. Possessiveness. Doesn't that describe the three of parts? I mean the three of uh, swords. Science. Psychology. Social services. Hmm. Computers, technology, I bet, I bet. So let's see, the nine of diamonds means extra money, a bonus, the brain, mental energy, psychic ability, imagination, electrical, what is this, electromagnetic energy, 
electricity, other people's wishes and desire that affects or influences the quarant. Fame, celebrity, public office, bureaucratic, red tape when surrounded by unfavorable cards. I'm going to say that that three of swords is a bureaucratic red tape. You know what I'm saying? The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is most definitely some bureaucratic red tape. The Six of Diamonds is bureaucratic red tape. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like using the brain. Using your psychic ab ability. Use the technology to have a research something. To find out some information. Something that gives you some type of shock. Something that it's like... Fast coming communication, fast coming information, whatever it is that make you decide that I need to get up out of there, that I can do bad by myself, that I'm good on my own. I'm so good on my own. And I don't know why I'm getting this like this. I don't know why. You see how that, that six and that nine, that looks like that cancer sign right there. I don't know if y'all are dealing with a cancer. I don't know if y'all are dealing with a cancer, but I, I like that's what I'm getting right there. The ace of um look in this 222. The ace of diamonds represents written news, a letter, a message, an invitation, important documents, new beginning, a fresh start, a new phase of life, something brand new, a ring, an engagement ring, life force, fire. Okay. So again, um, I definitely feel once you guys make the decision to like research what's best for you because again this has something to do with a lot of a lot of like downloads like I don't know if you're like downloading some information that is helping you go on your way uh, it's like something here. It's like you guys are getting some download, some information from some untraditional source. Again, I definitely feel like there was heartbreak here, but it helped you to make more tangible um, choices. More choices that will bring you better results. Like this says, it means fame. It means like a big check, a big lump sum of money, like some big winnings. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... Whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you walk away from, it's like I'm I, I'm too shy. I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to uh, deal with the situation. I'd rather just go on my way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm good. It's like whatever this three of swords was gave you the energy to stop talking to someone, to see the vibration and the beauty within yourself, how beautiful and how lucky and how blessed that you are, and it gave you. The chance to open up to something new. Like I said, you guys spread your wings. Once you got that communication, you open up that door. And it's like you're trying to step yourself out of this place of lack. You need stability. You need your home to be a home. Not a foundation for someone else to use as a stepper stone. To step over you or whatever the fuck the situation was. Like I just like... Because that's what I'm getting here. The Ace of Hearts... If Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Hearts means happiness, the home, a residence, family, love, friendship, joy, a source, the start of a romance, situations within the home base or around the, yes, situations surrounding the home base, beginnings of an emotional period, positive energy, the soul. So again, like this very much has to do with like, the standards of what you allow to come in and out of your house, what you what you consider as fame, what you consider as luxury, and what you consider of a resource of positive energy. Because a lot of this has to do with energy and your you and you using your intuition in a situation. And it's like trusting the information that you're getting is like. I know you can't trust the information from all sources and from a whole bunch of different people, but it's something about this information that you're getting from this unlikely source. It's just like, that's all I needed to see. It's like you were suffering, you were feeling something about some type of heartbreak, something wasn't right. 
Like, someone was acting real shy, real timid. They were not talking to you the way that you know. There was a lot of jealousy, possessiveness, uh, all of that stuff that goes on right there. If this shit didn't come out the way that it did for you to really see the truth, you wouldn't have woke up and you wouldn't have taken your energy and created a new situation for you. Because you were in a situation of lack. The mushrooms dreaming, Lord Jesus. I'm going to have to read these in the reverse. So we got the renewal in the reverse. So I want to say like you guys are struggling to start over a little bit. It's like you really want to see the bright side in this situation. But it's like how, how can, come on. It's like it's in your face, especially if y'all dealing with a cancer. Y'all seen that. How can you not see this? Ain't it the cancer sign? It's either that or you're dealing with an air sign. Okay? Because diamonds to me is a mixture of pinnacles and air. Air is what? Libra, um, Aquarius, and Gemini, right? We seen the cancer there, and you're already a, uh, you know, a sign that represents the pinnacles. And y'all forgive me, my daughter is playing her um flute in the background. We have the dream in here, so I don't know if there was like some type of like um other influence or something. It could have been some drugs or some type of psychedelic or something like that. I don't know. Whenever I see this, I feel like people popping shrooms or something like that. Like someone high, someone dreaming, someone under some type of illusion or something. But I don't feel like you could be under illusion no more. It's like I don't feel like you could sit there in this dream state anymore. I don't see that there's being any renewal from this. There's no like pot of gold on the other side of the rainbow. It's like you can't daydream and fantasize about what's going on here anymore it's like right in front of your face with this three of swords and this ace of swords with this communication and this revelation and this information hitting you like a ton of bricks it's like you can't hide from it you can't ignore it no more you know what i'm saying like that's why someone's not coming home that's why there is like some type of lack of this home that's why there's this neediness you know it's like my place of Comfort is like off balance and that's my home and it's like I need a man in this home or something like that You got the shark right here. It's like going through like the survival of the fittest or something I don't know why I feel like there's some level of Competition or some again like there's something like competition jealousy like You know, it's like for some type of commitment or something. It's like What's the need to compete in? I don't understand. You got the one, one, one. You're a magical creator. Your thoughts are starting to manifest. I mean, I definitely see someone trying to create something new here. It's like someone with the six of diamonds, the nine of diamonds, the ace of diamonds, the ace of hearts. It's like you're trying to take back your energy. You're focusing on yourself so that you can feel more powerful. You can see more blessings and abundance coming off of your energy. Like you focusing on giving to yourself and not so much to other people. So, you know, Again, it's like someone not letting someone feed off of you for some reason. That's what I'm getting. Because the Queen of Pentacles is very affluent. It's like she, a lot of blessings come her way. And it's like... And again, it's like some neediness to have like a man around you or, or something. It's like a husband or something. It's like willing to do anything for that energy. And it's like people know that. And it's like... It's like someone taking advantage of you in some way because it's like, I want to say like the survival of the fittest. It's like someone in some type of, like someone trying to prove themselves that they're apex predator and it can't be beaten or something like that. And again, it's like lowering you. It, it's lowering you. What is this? The orbs of light, the spiritual realm. So again, it's like you receiving some type of information of clarity. So it's like, you know something now. You see something now. It's like, you know, you might have tapped into the art of divination. It's like, you know, or you... I want to say you're getting information from the right source now. It's like, yeah, it's like you're getting information from the right source. So it's like you understand things clearly now. You know to open up the doors, to open up the windows. Let the truth 
flow in clearly so you can understand it clearly. It's like no longer trying to hide from this emotional abuse, from this heartbreak. It's like you see it now. It's like I can't unsee what's in front of me now. And it's also, it's like something, so this Queen of Pentacles seeing what she's doing, like the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands in the reverse is like someone stagnating their self where they need to move on and they need to pick their shit up and go. And they're still sitting there waiting for someone to come by and pick them up. No, don't pick, no one's going to pick you up. Get the fuck up and walk. It's like someone's making excuses for why they're staying around in a situation where they know there's third party abuse. You clearly see what's going on. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like you may be left to take care of all the financial bills, the 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 kids, like the home breaking down, like everything that has to do with the home and the family structure. You may be forced to deal with that by yourself, but it's like at the same time, you're still standing around dealing with the situation and instead of listening to like what spirit is trying to tell you and show you with these orbs of light like you've been seeing signs you see the information like you're getting the information as clear as day god may be sending it to you from like sources that you don't typically get information from but it's like you've been getting the information and i want to say it's like why you've been in lack Right now, it is about survival for you, but you gotta you gotta pay attention to what you're fighting for. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, pay attention to the blessings and the things that you're trying to manifest in your life. If you keep saying that you want something new, you want something new, you want something better, you want true love, you want a husband, well then stop fighting for something that ain't fighting that ain't fighting for you. If the pussy or the dick is out in the street, let it stay out in the street. Like, why you why like don't do that to yourself. Do you understand? Why are you not getting up and starting to walk? Walk. Don't just be standing around, but you know, I'm leaving all of this and I got to get new friends and I might got to get a new car. So what? Fuck that nigga car. Fuck that bitch car. Leave that car. Grab what you need and walk. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop making excuses. You know what I'm saying? Again, like, there's not going to be no renewal. There's not going to be no renewal. Stop. And again, it's like someone is like high on some type of illusion. It's like some, some, somebody fixated on an illusion. It's like you got to let that go. It's like you're only hurting yourself by believing what you want to believe instead of what God is clearly putting in front of your eyes right here. What is this? This is the nine of swords in the reverse. So this is someone that, again, is trying to get over the heartbreak, that is trying to stop thinking about this, that is trying to stop believing and having faith in something that you clearly know is not true. It's like every time that you close your eyes or you're by yourself or you're not around people. you constantly going over and over and in your head what someone said, what someone did, how someone is moving differently, how shit just is not adding up. And it's like, I don't want to even think about that shit no more. Like, I really want to be the fuck over this situation. I seen what I need to see. It's time for me to move on and just, like, focus on my own like my own prosperities. Because when I focus on me, myself, and I, like, a lot of shit... A lot of beautiful things come to me. Like, I got a new chance to do things from the ground up. Like, you know, a positive home environment. Like, even, like, information and in, in, in people coming through that makes sense in my life. Like, people that are actually trying to, like... Not just do something for me, but want to see me do something positive for myself with that Ace of Diamonds. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like a brand new life, something that really is going to add up for me. I don't want to be in this place of lack no more. And I'm I'm tired of struggling and staying in this place. And this fixation and being all hot and in delusion about something that's going to come back together. And it's going to renew that it never is. Like I'm done with that shit. I'm done with that shit. You understand? I really want to focus on stop thinking about this shit and just realizing like the shit is over. I'm focusing on new love. Bottom line. I got to give the cup to myself first. The Ace of Swords in the reverse is basically someone that truly was incapable of seeing. That didn't want to believe the truth that was hitting them in their face. Being torn apart. Scared to take that mask off. Scared of like even just speaking the truth to the situation. That wasn't love. This person doesn't love me. You know what I'm saying? What this person was saying wasn't true. What I'm saying to myself isn't true. I'm dreaming. Why am I fighting to be... You, do, do you see what I'm saying? 
I really wouldn't be saying this shit if it didn't start out with the three of swords. But we got to call the thing a thing here. We got to call the thing a thing. It's like not wanting to face some type of embarrassment or something like that. But you got to face the truth. It takes a stronger man or a stronger woman to be truthful with themselves and just be like, listen, I'm not no victim. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was doing some shit that I didn't like. I stood up for myself and I walked away and I feel better for that. I'm not no victim. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. I'm good. It taught me how to, to take better care of myself. And that's about it. Ain't no point in daydreaming and going through a whole bunch of bullshit. Let's finish this off with the room. Please give me guidance for my Capricorn. I'm going to get the situation for January. Thank you so much. Okay. So let's see. So this right here means livestock. Means success, wealth, like possessions won or earned it means abundance like sign of hope happiness fertility family means increase good habits are rewarded soon so that's like you turning the corner and just saying i'm not going back to that place no more i'm gonna turn this corner and i'm gonna continue to go it's about my survival i gotta be very cautious of what i'm fighting for i say that i i'm not comfortable it's i'm not comfortable in this situation this shit hurt. It shit hurt. I gotta take this mask off and stop lying to myself. This shit hurt. It's just like someone going around trying to save face for other people, make it seem like, oh, they're in this beautiful relationship, but for real, for real, when you're at home lonely by yourself, you be going through the worst type of anxiety. It's like when you take that mask off and you look at yourself, you don't like, this shit hurt. You, don't, you ain't like what you were saying. It's like God had to usher in the truth to you in such an unorthodox way in order for you to understand it and for you to stop putting yourself through the situation. God set you up for you to win. Okay? This means movement, momentum, moving, it means economic stability. Salary received, love fulfilled, it means an upswing. Do you understand? All right, it means control, and it also means power. This right here is like a major arcana. This means landscape, means earth, it means the home, it means common sense, family, love, simple strengths, it means fertility, agriculture, nature, it means natural order. Natural order. So, baby, once you see the truth and you see things for what it is, like, this is why shit just wasn't doing good for me. This is why I've been in a state of lack because I've been allowing this in my life. I'm not an option. You're not going to sit there and I'm allowed for you to hurt me. I had to see what I was doing for myself, to myself. What type of people I was allowing to surround around me. I was neglecting other things that were way more valuable in my life while I was letting the motherfucker that had no business being in my life hurt me. And hurt people hurt people. So no, I wasn't doing the best things for me and my kids. I wasn't paying attention to my crops, my animals. my I wasn't doing that shit because I was hurting. So I didn't mean to hurt my family. I didn't mean to hurt my fans. I didn't mean to neglect you. I didn't mean to neglect myself. When you knew better, you do better. You know? And it's like you taking this, you are making sure that you want positive standing grounds. You're making sure that your landscape is fruitful. It's fruitful. Very fruitful. Very abundant. And this is not an upright. This is what is the unknown. But I know this is another major arcana. Alright? So this right here. It means the day. It means the sun, balance. It means change. It means a ride. A ride. A ride. And remember when we were talking about cattle, signs of hope, happiness, you know, increase and everything. So this means, you know, you actually being transported. You're actually like in the right direction. And it's like you're, you're taking this by your own will. 
You know, you're changing your direction by your own will. This means a new day. This means transformation. It means that period of uncertainty is over. Newness. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. Guaranteed. It means equilibrium. Achieved. So you don't see this because it didn't come out in the upright, but I see it. I most definitely see it. You know? And I also see this one, which you guys don't see. And, um... It definitely is telling me that you guys were going through a period of confusion and despair and unclarity. And you were drifting. And you were lacking that creativity that you normally have. But things are turning around for you. I want you to stop talking to people that you have no business talking to. And I want you to love yourself. I do not, listen, I do not put myself in a place where I'm not wanted. If the energy and the love that I'm giving you is not enough where you feel like you got to go out there and entertain people, then I need to remove myself from the situation. And that is the fuck one, period. You do better for yourself when you do better by walking away from people that don't understand you and don't need to be involved with you. Period. Do not let nobody wrap you up in your shit. You are fucking queen. Listen to the information that God is sending you. And it's clearly telling you. When you're around the wrong type of energy. It's a distraction and it puts you in a place of lack. And that's what you need to understand. That's the true message. Stop letting people step all over you. And hurt you Capricorn. You stronger than this. And you build for tough. Show these motherfuckers. Listen that I'm enough. Listen to what God is trying to tell you. Especially when God is trying to tell you to stop lying to yourself. And take that mask off. Stop. Listen. I want you guys to stop sitting up there and act like y'all built for this shit. Is y'all really built for this shit? God didn't build you for this shit. God never built you to be with someone that wants to be with someone else. Why do y'all act like this shit is okay or this is a typical standard of life and this shit is normal? This shit is not normal. Especially if you're one of them type of people that be cheating with somebody else's man or somebody else's woman. You're going to eat every last piece of that karma. So if this is the type of behavior that you're into if you settle and you allow someone to cheat on you while they're off messing around with somebody. That is not the way to live. Y'all stop acting like it's okay. Y'all stop acting like, oh, as long as my man is paying my bills, as long as my woman is doing this, as long as my woman did this, or my girl, is, my, my girl bad, or my man is bad, or they got money, or they got this, they got... Who gives a fuck when your heart is all tore the fuck up? Y'all stop acting like y'all okay with this shit that y'all not. Because if y'all was, y'all wouldn't be, y'all wouldn't be going through the shit that y'all going through. You wouldn't be neglecting certain things. You wouldn't be worried about certain things. So, unless you could really afford to kick it in a situation like this, like, you fucking with someone, they fucking with other people, and you really don't give a damn. And I mean, really don't give a damn. Stop acting like this shit is okay. Stop acting like this shit is normal. It's not normal. It's not normal. Y'all need to stop normalizing cheating. It's not normal. If someone is dating you and if they feel the need that they need to entertain other people, then they need to stop entertaining you and you need to stop being there to be entertained. Because I don't find no entertainment in it. All right? And I hope that y'all have got here to this point to receive this message in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. I'm about to hit Capricorn. I see y'all in February. Peace.